Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham and welcome to my show. And we gotta talk about this video here. It's titled, What I Spend in a Week as a Financially Independent 23 Year Old Vlog Style by Kira Madison. So uh, of course, I gotta review this video as a personal finance enthusiast who loves to uh, berate people on the internet. So with that said guys, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and uh, no, seriously, just make sure to subscribe if you haven't done that already. And now with that said, let's begin. Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I am filming what I spend in a week. It is Monday today and I have spent no money. It's been amazing. I'm eating dinner right now. I just got out of class. Oh, I hate when people have their iPhones going off in the background like that because I'm like, is that, is that me? Dinner right now, I just got No, it's not me. It's, it's on here. You can't tell the difference. And I'm going to have some leftovers, which technically are free since I bought them yesterday. <laughs> but I'm going to be taking you guys along with me this week. Imagine if I was like, hey guys, so I spent no money because I prepaid everything the day before. So technically this week, guys, everything is free. End of the video. That's cheating. You gotta add up how much food is left over and how much it would have cost to do otherwise. Tomorrow, I'm taking my car in to be serviced and I know it's gonna cost probably a lot of money. Oh, I'm very popular over there. Again, just refilm it. Because otherwise, everyone who's watching this, all 63,000 people are gonna be like, did I just get a text? We all have the same ringtone, basically, for text message. I, everyone has the glass little thing like that. I'm gonna film this until Sunday to get an accurate representation. If you guys like this video, I'm gonna do a different version with my monthly expenses, showcasing, like, literally everything that I have to pay for every single month. Oh, that's a good idea. If you guys like this video, how about this? Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, if I get enough thumbs up, then I will go ahead and react to the other video as well. Let's see if we could get 10,000 thumbs ups on this video. First spending of the day, gotta fill up with gas. I had less than a quarter tank, so we'll see how much this costs. Yes, please. Thank you, you too. $45 to fill up pretty much my entire tank. Oh, this is when gas was cheap. Look at this. May 19th, 2021, when gas was a fraction of the price because of uh, almost no demand. No, no one was traveling at this time. So uh, look at that, she's still wearing the mask. Cheap gas, now that would be like three times the cost. That would be a good investment, by the way. Just fill up your tank with gas and then just don't use it. And then you could sell the car for three times the amount you paid for it with a full tank of gas in it. All right, we didn't have to pay yet, which was good, but he did say, it was like $610. I thought the A service was supposed to be cheaper. Well, maybe it's because the 40,000 mile one. Let's make sure this music is gonna get copyright strike, so we gotta either put our own music over it or no music. Look at that, see? I did what I just complained about. That is karma. Sorry, guys. What's the text message? Uh, $200 for a powder blue tang. Oh, man, it's a fish. A great fish, it's from somebody else's aquarium. I'll let you know at the end of the video if I decide to buy the powder blue tang. Great looking fish though, well, let's see. Which makes it really convenient so that my wallet doesn't hurt when I have to pay for this. Cause I just take it out of the fund. This thing is, is a control for that, right? Yeah, but it might be a touch screen. Yeah, it is. Why does this guy look a lot like Shelby Church's dad? What is, oh, hold on, we're gonna put them back to back. Uh, she did this video, it's called Boomer Money with Shelby Church. You know what, actually, I think it's uh, putting them side by side, I think it's just the mustache that's, that's throwing me off. They got the same mustache here, the same kind of gray, kind of white. Uh, that's it, never mind. So we finished our shopping spree here at Bridgeport. It's a dangerous place. You can spend a lot of money very easily. I got the white bowls. They were on sale for extra 25% off. So they're like $11. And I do this sometimes where it's like, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the bowls or I'm gonna give the bowls away to a housewarming gift. But if you buy it while it's on sale, you end up saving a lot of money. I got my friend's grad gift, this cool embossing label maker. I have this and it's great. A label maker. You know, Macy got one of those and she's labeled everything in the laundry room. I mean everything now. Even like the towels have a label on them for the type of towels. Uh, could come in handy. You know what, you never know. You know, I'm so used to just like watching people spend money. I'm looking at this, I'm like, how much does that cost to ski down a mountain? I mean, this is like, this could be completely free. Does it cost money to ski down a mountain? I don't know. We'll put the price here. Jason and I just got done with our day of skiing. We got lovely truffles. 
tropical. It's actually kind of cheap for that. I'm thinking like Los Angeles, New York prices. It'd be like 15 to $20. We got the official spending report. It cost me $611.23 for my car to be serviced. Actually though, you know, I gotta say it's not that terrible. I did one of those swap lease things a while back for a Mercedes and I basically took over someone else's payments. They prepaid the expenses, but yeah, it was like $500 for a service where they just go in and like look at stuff. They do an oil change. They rotate the tires, like the most basic stuff, but they charge you a lot for it. It's not terrible. It could be worse. Scout and I just got takeout from the food carts and with tip, I got this for $10.35. It looks literally amazing. How is she getting such cheap food? Where is that? I, I know it's Oregon, but uh, how is it? Like that should be, that's a $15 meal, right? LA, that's going to be 20 bucks. How is that 1035? That I think is actually a very good value. Wow, lunch total $37. I mean, that looks like really high quality food, but 30 cents, there's gotta be multiple of those. I'm gonna tell myself not to eat this too quickly so I don't feel disgusting. The day is going well. I got a bunch of skills checked off, like DCing a Foley, getting a urinary sample from a Foley, emptying a drainage tube, just lots of fun stuff. Oh, I'm dropping everything. Now I forgot how much I spent on this. I should have gotten my receipt, but I'll put the price here of how much I spent on this. Hopefully this is all I spend today. Uh, 7.65, look at that. You know what's crazy? Uh, went to Chipotle the other day, it's now $10. It's 30% more expensive a little bit over a year later. 30%. What is this inflation, 9%? No, 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 no. They should count inflation by how much Chipotle goes up. It, way too much. How is she getting such cheap food? Like all of this actually looks good. On Monday, we did fantastic, zero dollars. Tuesday was a whopping $95.43. Wednesday, $15. Thursday, $633.33. Thursday hurt a little bit. <laughs> Friday, I spent $37.95. Oh, come on, put it on screen for us. It's so much easier to look at this on a screen instead of just reading it out. And Saturday, I spent $7.65. Sunday, I spent $28.45 with a grand total of $817.81 in one week. I feel like that's actually not that bad considering 600 and something dollars of that is like a Mercedes service done once a year. Her spending is actually really not bad at all. I mean, even let's just say it's $300 a week times uh, 52 weeks, she's spending like 16 grand a year. Now, we don't know, however, uh, maybe rents, uh, health insurance, I guess, would be covered under her. She's uh, under 25. I, I want to see how much everything is altogether, but her miscellaneous expenses, I give it a pass. All right, all right, it's, it's pretty good. So actually, I did surprisingly well. I think because I didn't do like a big grocery run, that definitely brought it down because like I could easily spend $75 in a grocery run. I was mostly eating up food that I already had here, which was nice. But dang, that's a lot of money. I mean, everyone says this, but food costs so much money. And so I just try to keep it as balanced as I can. All right, so overall, great video. I'll link to our video down below in the description for everyone who wants to follow along. And like I said, if you like the video, 10,000 likes, and I will react to uh, her other video in terms of how much she spends on everything else. That's it. Also, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much, and until next time.